Hi guys, my name is Matt. Uh, before we start this tutorial, I'm going to make some assumptions. I'm going to assume that you're either running IIS or Apache server, that you have PHP 5 or higher installed on those, and that you're running Dreamweaver in Windows XP or higher. Uh, so, to start off, what I'm going to be teaching you is that is how to create custom file extensions and render them as whatever you want to on the web. So, the example I'm going to use is I'm going to create a .my file. I'm going to render it as ph, uh, I'm, I'm going to render dynamic PHP in it, but on the web it's going to render as XML. So I'm going to be doing dynamic PHP on the server. It's gonna, on the server it's going to execute the PHP code, and we're going to render it out as X, as XML document on the web. Uh, quick, I want to go over a quick basic concept that I think a lot of people either don't know or forget, and that is that file extensions are really meaningless. Uh, they're just there to teach you to to describe to you what the file is and for applications to recognize the file. Um, so a .php, .asp, .html, they're all just text files. And uh, what really matters is the server or interpreter there that looks at the code, says, oh, this is PHP code. It executes the code and then renders it as whatever you want. So basically, um, file extensions don't mean anything. They're there for descriptive purposes only. So if you have a website and you want to set up a template file and you want to call it .template, you can do that. And you can have it render as whatever you want. Um, and I'll actually, in a second tutorial, show you how to set up Dreamweaver to recognize those file extensions and give them code coloring, because by default it doesn't. Um, but that's another tutorial. To start off, we're going to do this in IIS first. I noticed not a lot of tutorials cover both IIS and Apache in the same tutorial, so I want to I wanna cover all my bases here. Okay, let's open up uh, IIS. Okay, this is IIS 7, obviously, but you can do this in 6. It's just a little bit of a different flow. Um, if you set up PHP already, this is going to be really easy. What we're wanting to do is set up IIS to render .my files as PHP. And you can see right here I have my numbers.my file set up in Dreamweaver. And we're gonna and what it is basically is it's an XML document with a root numbers node, and beneath that is some PHP a PHP loop that for every number between 0 and 20 will create a new number node with the number inside of it. So, uh, and then at the top, obviously, I, I got it set up to render as text XML. But we'll get to that next. Okay, now let's set this up in, in IIS. We're going to go to handler mapping. We're going to add a script map. You've probably done this with PHP if you already got it set up. Uh, you most definitely have done it. Okay, we're going to create a star.my. That's our request path for the file. Our executable is going to be PHP. So we're going to get the PHP 5 ISAPI DLL. And we're going to call this .my. And yes, that's it. We just set up a custom file type to render as PHP on the web using IIS, and that's it. Simple as that. And it's even simpler in Apache. Hold on, let me stop IIS and start up Apache. Start. Okay, dokie. Uh, Apache started. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open up our .ht access file. It's even simpler in Apache. I love Apache. It's fantastic uh, server. I, re I highly recommend it. What we're going to do is we're going to set up a files node. Start up my or start my. That this is basically applying rules to any files with that extension. And the rule we're going to apply is a force type applica application x http d-php that is the application type or the the media type for this this uh, PHP file so now all my files will be rendered as PHP let's close that and exit exit that now you remember our dot my file we have a little PHP header and this is basically um, on the server it will give a new header to this file because right now it's a dot my file so this will give a new header to it with a content type of text XML so when it gets to the browser it's going to render this as XML Got your XML document declaration right there. Our numbers nodes, and here it's going to render a number node under the numbers node for every number between 0 and 20. Now let's see if it works. Let's open up Google Chrome. I got a stop dream mover. Give me a little. Okay, I got a numbers uh, shortcut set up right now. Let's click it. Bam, we did it. View source. Control U. Bam, there you go. We just set up an XML document with a custom file extension rendering as XML with dynamic PHP in it. And that is, that's it. That's the tutorial. Uh, I hope you guys liked it, and I hope you you uh, do some great things with this concept. Uh, thank you very much for your time, and have a good rest of the day or night, or whenever you watch this. Bye.